Hey YouTube, it's Trainer here. Welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Black and White. So last episode we actually beat Genesis and we became a Pokemon legend. Yay! So, uh, I want to get into this game's post-game. So to start with, there's actually two different post-games post post which we'll be getting into. Welcome home, Dan. Seems you've been through a lot. Many event amazing things, isn't it? Yeah, that's how I've actually become a Pokemon Master. Incredible, really. Amazing, absolute, le absolutely. Me and these two Pokemon of a legend. Ah, this, this is... Oh. Wait, why, where is it two mums? Oh, I'm, I, I still wear my disguise, pardon. Oh, well, let me introduce myself. What the hell? Oh my god, it's Lucker. I am a global trotting elite of the Pokemon International Police. My name, uh, I shall inform you that my code name is Lucker. And that's what we've called. So if you don't know Lucker, he's been in every one of the more recent Pokemon games. After Platinum, he's kind of like a, a detective. So yeah. Behind the scenes in this region of Unova, an organization called Team Plasma Conspires. This, I have heard. And therefore, to this region I must come. But, thanks to the gym leaders and you, yes, Tipaz's castle has fallen, and members have gone upon their separate ways. This is what I like to hear, most certainly. It's true, yeah. But however, however, the ones who know as the same state are still, they hide themselves in the Unova region. And so, in the end, it explains why I must ask of you a train of amazing skill. Travel the, travel the Unova region and search for the seven sages. Elder Champion is renowned and re uh, and recommend you to hear my notice. Will you help? I will help. Excellent. I thank you. Now, I feel as if perhaps a million people on my side permit to, to give this into your hands. So we get a fishing rod. <laughs> the super rod. It allows to get new Pokemon and stuff. Um, yeah, that's great. It's, it is a super rod. When, when we're talking about the team of seven sages, what does it have to do with looking for those people? Well, uh, I see. It's truly Dan's mama. Task so. The one minute, but one magnificent question I admire. It's a pleasure for me to answer absolutely nothing. <laughs> so it's not going to answer. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, sorry, I actually filled in. Yes, I shall provide you with the explanation of this the super rod. First, face the wall and employ the rod. Second, concentrate your focal point. When it occurs at a Pokemon bite, there will be an exclamation point to indicate. Uh, immediately reel, reel in. Follow for the rest, Danny. Dan, I, I depend on you. So, uh, we did catch Vitriam, and I'm actually not going to use Vitriam, so I'm going to go and put that back in the PC, but... Uh, hey Dan, is Lucas still talking to you? Is the look through talking to you? I'm sorry, by the time I went to get the Shrashion City Gym Leaders... Oh, so that's why there wasn't there. Everything was over. If that's the case, I let Genesis escape when the Shadow Triad created an opening. Also, the Shadow Triad, Shadow Triad was there, and Genesis it got away. I'll tell you later about what happened at the castle. It's more important to ask you to plan to do now, Bianca. You, you know what? You, you know what? I'm gonna go to Black City. That's a city on the other side of Route 16, where when you leave from Nimbasa City, hmm? If you meet, if you go that way, you might be able to meet all sorts of Pokemon you've never seen before. Obviously, because they're different regions and stuff. And oh my God, it's uh, Professor Juniper's dad, or the real Professor Juniper. Oh well, this is a nice time. I see you're all here. Sup, how are you doing? Just a moment ago, I got some national dex dex Pokedexes from acquaintance, obviously Professor Oak. Since you're here, let's upgrade your Pokedex to the, with the national Pokedex data. I'm sure you'll be visiting a wide range of places. Now, actually, that means you'll be becoming more Pokemon. Let's see how you, let's see your Pokedex for a second. There you go, Bianca. Next up, Cherin, and uh, last up, Dan. And we actually got national mode, which allows us to encounter all Pokemon for the fifth generation. You can now switch your Pokédexes to National Mode. Completing the National, national Pokédex will surely be a big challenge. Take your time, enjoy themselves, meet a lot of Pokémon. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Mr. Juniper. Cedric Juniper. Wow, the National Dex. It looks like there's a ton of Pokémon I didn't, I don't even know yet. Hmm <laughs> hmm. I, I want to show my mom and dad my Pokédex. I gotta go. Oh, let's meet somewhere, okay? Yes, okay. Um, huh, Bianca's and. Impetuous as ever. No, no matter what is going on. Dan, I think I'll travel uh, travel around the universe and Route One again. I want to discover a lot of new things. Uh, could be I'll encounter the Seven Sage along the way. And Dan, if we spam each other, this battle, okay? Sounds good. So now we get open up to the world again. Uh, and yeah, there's so much stuff to do. Uh, and of course, uh, everyone's split up into their own areas. So to start with, we're going to start getting the first of the Seven Sages. Which is, uh, I think it's on Route 1. So we need to go to Route... Oh, god damn it. 
Uh, but I've had a, a few interesting days, really. Um, so I start with my computer blew up, <laughs> if you don't know. Uh, which really... I'm going to put repel on because I'm not dealing with repels. Uh, if you don't know, my computer blew up, which it sucks. Because, like, um, I, I had to spend more money than I had to. Uh, if you don't know, I was installing a new graphics card on my PC and it did not go wrong. Uh, it went it went really wrong and there's nothing I can really do about it. But this is going to be our first... Um, our first, actually, set, uh, seven stage here, uh, which we need to get. There is trainers as well. We are get open up to the first half of the post game now, which is which is great, really. Like, there's a whole other side of the game because uh, we have to go back to the Elite Four eventually and actually fight that. Uh, but yeah, we will be speeding up all the trainers now, probably by times four, because these are just general trainers now. I choose a move, and my Pokemon will do a move in a moment. That a move will reach our Pokemon. I kind of want to change my Pokemon quite a bit. We will be going four thousand percent here, just because like it will speed up. We are fighting generic Pokemon like a Wubat and stuff. We have got Reshiram, <laughs> overpowered. Which I really need to switch out, because I really don't want to use Reshiram. But, we have it in our team. Uh, I can't believe like, how Genesis got away though. I, I do like the lore of this game, and I'm hoping in the next game, um, Reshiram does appear, uh, not Reshiram, um, Genesis does appear again. Because if you don't know, um, there's a whole other game which continues on with this lore, which I kind of thought was a, um, a money grab at the time. I'll get into that when we get there. Uh, well, I might as well talk about it now. Um, a berry, here we go. Uh, a person berry, by my me. Uh, we're going to actually switch up Pokemon out. Um, I love connect uh, connection feeling. Same. So we're going to put, um, I think we're going to put Grace in first because he is the, the most level Pokemon. Uh, but I've had a lot of trouble like with my PC and stuff. But like with the whole money grab situation, I'm, I'm going to mention it here. I'm trying to put the Dolls machine on because I like to get everything. Um, anything down here? There is actually an item down there. But what are you going to say, Fisherman? I'm gonna say, I'm just watching the dangling tip of the fishing rod. Since you're here, I, I have met. Let's send our Pokemon in to meet in a battle. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we just have to keep going all the way around this thing, and we will um, get to the first of the seven stages. I, I can't remember if we have to get all seven stages, or is it just one or two? I can't seem to remember. Oh, Phyllis. Let's go for an air slash. Um, uh, a fly, actually. Uh, but yeah, like the whole. Um, if you don't know, it's black and white too. There's two variations, which means people had to buy both Black and White and Black and White 2 to actually get the two story of the game, you have to play both. And that's kind of annoying, because I kind of am one of those guys, like, I kind of I kind of like it where they do two games and they do one single game, which is the ultimatum of the games, I guess. Which I really do like a bit more, but it's their games, they can do what they want, I guess, which I was a bit annoyed by, by the idea that they actually did something like that. But there's nothing I can really do about it. I'm not running now, but I, I'm using a battle, though, as quick as I can. So um, these episodes are going to be a lot more fast-paced, I think, over the, the post game because we are literally um, at the end of the game. Um, there's actually a, um, a certain area coming up in the Dream Yard, uh, you, you know, where we fought, um, where we was. Um, uh, you, you guys remember the Dream Yard? We've been there before. Uh, we'll, we'll be going there probably in the next episode again. Uh, it's where we uh, encounter the Dream Fuel uh, for uh, you know one of the first. I think it was episode four or five of the series. Uh, when we was at the Strike City Gym, it was somewhere around that. So speed. I'm kind of hoping we don't get static here. I, I've got a feeling we could probably get paralysis, par paralysis here. Well, I was going to have to either way, you know. Step striking is a pretty good Pokemon, and it was faster than us. That's mental, that. Well, it did have a speed up, didn't it? Let's go for a Dragon Claw. I feel like Critical is going to win this either way. Like, like Critical's I like go-to Pokemon. He always seems to own. But yeah, like with the whole Black and White two and stuff, I keep getting, I keep digressing. Um, I really liked the idea of it, but then when there was milk in the franchise and they made it, so it was like. You had to play the game. Um, uh, is it literally in the woods? What is it? Oh my god, a big mushroom. Uh, when they made it so you had to buy both games and stuff, I was like, really game? Are you really making us do this? Because it's kind of a bit... Ugh. And I wasn't a fan of it. I will be playing Black and White 2 like I did mention in the last episode. Uh, also, there's no screen here. Uh, there's nothing actually going on. What the hell? Um, that's a bit dodgy. Is not just no power here? Maybe so. I, I don't really know. But I'm pretty sure this is where the, the first of the seven stages are. We're going to be trying to get them all. I know where the, the, they all are, pretty much. Um, this is actually the, the, the first one I would actually gone for anyway, because I know where this one is. Uh, one thing I don't like about the post-game in this game, they, they try to make it a lot more interesting than what it actually is. Like, the post-game in this game is pretty boring. I'm not going to like, ooh, TMO6, Toxic. I'm not going to miss out on that. Like, Toxic is a great move. I should actually come here and got Toxic earlier on. But um, they, they kind of make it so... Uh, ooh, there's a swimmer here. Might as well fire. We have a zip striking first, so. I, I kind of wish, um. Like, the post game was kind of like just one thing, and there was a lot more legendaries. There's only one other legendary we can get in this game, which we haven't caught already. Which is, um. One which is uh, a big reference to the, the next game, 
which would be um, Black and White 2. A lot of people thought um, when this game was actually coming out, the next game would be Pokemon Grey. Because normally they do a uh, like Diamond Pearl Platinum, they always release like a third game in, in some regards. Okay, I'm missing that guy. I don't know which way is the right way to go. Um, I feel like this is. is, it, is it? Ooh, look at that. I am for it. I feel like that's, this isn't the right way to go though. A Deep Sea 2 probably increases. Um, I actually literally should evolve a Clam Pearl, I'm pretty sure, into a. Gorobis, if I'm correct, is that, is that right? I think it's right. I think it might be right there. I'm good at the backstroke, freestyling, butterfly, and of course, Pokemon battles. They're like actually me, because if you don't know, I go swimming quite a bit. And I love doing stuff like that. And a basculin, it's fine, we're just gonna go for a quick uh, a discharge, you know? It's fine. I feel like our Pokemon are pretty overpowered right now, because like, you're obviously meant to come here earlier in the game, as you can see by the other level variations and stuff, but we never did. Because uh, like, it's one of those things, in certain areas in this Pokemon game, I don't see the point in going to that area, because there's no real actual point to go there. Because like, we have literally the game now, and there's, there's no real point to explore everything, we're just doing this to just to get to the seven stages and stuff. Um, which I can't remember, I think I think all the seven stages have actually got a name, but I can't seem to remember the name uh, of the seven stages we're actually going to see. So, uh, who knows. But yeah, there we go, we are good at Pokemon battles. Yes. Let's continue on. I'm pretty sure it's going to be over here, this is where the... The sage is right up here. I got feeling at least. Oh my god, this this place goes on forever. Thank God we actually got flying type Pokemon. When I look down from a high place, I feel very good. Pokemon battles are the same. I will fight and look down from the heights. Okay, this is gonna be a rock type trainer, I think. Yes, he has got a Boldor. He hasn't got a bloody um the evolve form, has he? The I'm not gonna lie, I do like the evolve form of Boldor. It looks so cool, so cool. So I mentioned there's only one legendary left, but there is another Pokemon we're gonna be ca capturing. It's kind of like a hidden Pokemon. It's hidden away, uh, far, far away, and um, you guys will get to see it when we actually get there. But I, I, mentioned, I mentioned it when we was actually there. It's in the Relic Castle. There is a Pokemon which is... It's an industry Pokemon. Oh my god. A Crystal. This is the first one we've actually seen of... Um, that's the first time we've actually seen a Crystal. Wow. Bug Bite. Yeah, super effective, but it's fine. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to actually going to the Relic Castle. Just, I haven't got a Pokemon in such, such a long time. And, I love catching like legendary Pokemon. I don't know why. It's, it's annoying sometimes, especially when you can't actually capture them. But overall, it's a really nice experience. I really love it. So what you guys got to say? Wait, your Pokemon a bit tired. Let's, let's rest them. Okay, fine by me. Uh, so another thing that's actually happened in my life is I actually caught a Mew legit. Uh, I, I haven't actually caught it, but um, oh, so this this girl here is going to give you a certain Pokemon, and not gonna lie, it is pretty cool. Like, um, I'm not gonna get it just because of. Um, no idea what this guy said, but this guy, she's going to give you a certain egg. It evolves into an overpowered fire-type Pokemon, and if I was you, I'd take it up. I'm not taking it up myself, because, like, my Pokemon, are, like, part is falling. There's, there's no real reason to take it, because we will be getting the evolved form soon enough anyway. But, early in the game, that Pokemon is OP. It is literally so good. It's like a, a tank. It's a fire bug type, I think it is. It's kind of like a, um, a lava type. It takes forever to level up. But when it does level up, it is overpowered as balls, and it's honestly it's one of those Pokemon you don't want to miss out on because if you do, you're gonna be disappointed because it is such a good, like a good item and a good Pokemon. Like I love it so much, and th th there's nothing more I could say because it is such, such a good Pokemon. Any items? Or just this item? Maybe something good. A Max e Elixir. Ah, it's worth it. I guess it's worth it. So yeah, um, if you really want to get a good Pokemon, talk to her, and she will give you one of the most overpowered Pokemon in the game. It is literally so good. You're wondering why I didn't get it earlier, because I, I couldn't remember where you got the egg from. And it's obviously there, so I'm, I'm not I'm just saying. It's just a pretty good Pokemon, you should definitely get it. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to activate it again. It's already activated. Oi, doi. So there's a backpack here. What do you gotta say, bro? Ah. So yeah, I, I definitely searched again. getting it. I can't remember what it's called. It's called like a lava, an Elavaton or something like that. And it's, it's one of those Pokemon, like, if you haven't used it before, you think, oh, it's just, it's just a generic Pokemon, isn't it? It's really good. Like, honestly, it is literally fantastic. I've never experienced a Pokemon like it. Like, I've used it, because I thought it was actually a legendary Pokemon. It said evolution. No, it's not. And we've got a Dragon Scale, which increases the move of Dragon-type stuffs. Which I'm really half fan of, because I've already got, like, the, the, the Dragon, um, the Dragon thing anyway. But here's our first Seven Sage. Rude. It smells like a sea. This place has been born. It's not the ocean. Genesis wandered all, all over the lands of this world. All over. Collecting knowledge of all kinds of of all kinds while searching for like-minded people. From the moment we met, he understood what I desired. The ability to understand the minds and the needs of others. The, this ability that everyone needs to survive. Our Lord N is a kind and excellent person who un understands the hearts of Pokemon. But, controversially, but con conversely, 
perhaps his ability to understand the hearts and feelings of Pokemon is not developed enough. But even with that part of the perfection of Genesis plan, when it comes Genesis and I cannot separate the truth from the lies. See, I received it from Genesis, but I no longer need it. I hope you can put this into good use. So he's going to give us a free TM of Double Team. He's going to give us a little backstory about uh, L, uh, N and um, Genesis. So someday, if my Lord N develops the ability to understand the feelings of Pokemon as well as people, uh, ooh, I just put my mic. Sorry about that. Uh, I would like us to stick together again. Okay, and there's Luca coming to save the day. Ah, and now about to but I am an officer of the International Police. And there are so many things I, I must ask about. Oh my god, what the hell? Um, I'm so sorry about that. Jesus Christ. If that's what I, if that's what you desire. That was a bit weird. Many thanks. Genesis, notwithstanding. Genesis, notwithstanding. Now, yet, there are yet five of the seven stages still at large. What is it that they're thinking? What it may be they're hoping? This is the information I, 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 I have need of. Quick, as soon as you say I or something, he's obviously gonna take off the seven stage. Uh, which, which, which is crazy, like, we actually found one of the seven stages. I'm really sorry about a little, little thing pop up. Oh, we got TM05, Warfall. Um, wow, I'm kinda glad we got that. I, I was actually gonna leave, but I was like, I'm kinda glad we got that item. Because Warfall, why not get it? You know, if it's, if it's there, why not get it? We're actually gonna finish exploring this route as well whilst we do, because I like to explore routes, you know, where I can. So, uh, I'm gonna say, on a small rise of land, you and I face each other, okay? So there is still um, five, seven, uh, five of the seven stages still out there, minus Genesis, or Genesis obviously. I have a feeling Genesis might be the next game, I actually don't know, I hope he is. Because I love Genesis so much, he is such a cool character, and a Darumantine. And this is the first time, this is the first Pokemon we actually got this as well. Wow. And of course Air Slash is just making work, you know, because we are 10 levels higher. We, we should actually come here for the Elite Four, as you can see, but, yeah, it's fine. Sissima Sage. It, we have to miss, so it's fine. Let's go for a quick air slash. This should probably one hit him. Yes, there we go. And uh, yeah, we, we, we beat Ray. Raymond. Raymond. Who you die. So let's continue on round. So uh, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to like the whole um, post game because I feel like we're actually we're not full circle. Let's just wait for round. No, I don't think there is. Uh, we're we're going to go to the top. The, the top way is fine. It seems a bit too confusing. So now we're going to head to um, I think it's New, uh, November Town. No, I think we're going to strat, 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 uh, strat and see because we're going to be going to the Dream Yard because that is where we're going to be getting into the next Team Plasma as well as a uh, there's actually an area we've actually missed so and there's got some pretty high level Pokemon I'm talking level 60s so I'm looking forward to that uh, so if you don't know we're only level 50s so yeah we are pretty under level and I, f I feel like at this point in the game this is where you actually do like play the game as under leveled until you actually do it up to that level. Uh, you can catch Pokemon which is a high level, obviously, but I think I'm just gonna like put my um I'm gonna do this one Pokemon on so I actually get tapers back. Um Yep, let's uh, activate the Pokemon story system. Congratulations, more wallpaper has been added. Cool. Let's move our Pokemon so let's uh, get our good old star po uh, our good old Samsia and uh, replace it with replace our good old Rishiram. So I meant to check the stats, it's a battle nature nature. Uh, when do we meet it? We made it in Ends Castle at level 50. We've got the Dust Ball. Moves can be used regardless of its abilities. Um, okay. I don't get what that means. Moves can be used regardless of its abilities. No idea. So I feel like we're going to actually walk to the Dream Yard and actually get that start, that, um, that side quest now. Uh, and then we're going to do half of it later on. So depending on which stage you come, for example, if you do come on Friday, like I said, there is a, a Musharana available here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be around here somewhere. I, I, I am going the other way. As you can see, it's actually open now. So it's not there, so it's going to be on the other side. I'm pretty sure um, Team Plasma are in places where we've actually met them. Mine's the third, first one. Uh, oh, we don't have a cup Pokemon on us. God damn it. God damn it. I can't believe we don't have a... We don't have a bloody... Um, we don't have a bloody cup Pokemon on us. I don't know if we actually need it, but I'm, I'm actually going to explore the, uh, the upside. Cause I know he's in there somewhere. Um, I don't know where he is, but I know he's in there somewhere, so we a little look. Uh, yep. Let's, uh, what Pokemon are we missing? I just want to move my Pokemon, I don't want to do this. I'm going to move my Pokemon. Uh, balls, I didn't want to press that button. Nope, nope, yep. I keep hitting the wrong buttons, move Pokemon, okay. What Pokemon has cut? Okay, there you are, my Patch Rat. Which I've used, like, once before. 
I feel like we're gonna get rid of Tapers again. I'm sorry, Tapers. He's just a bit too weak for my liking. I don't know why, I just feel like Tapers... It's, it's, it's a bad Fire-type Pokemon, the whole Samsia thing. It, it could be so much better. But it could also be, a, a, like, like a, a bit worse, you know what I mean? I'm actually just gonna check up here. I don't know if it's actually up here, the, uh, the Sage. I don't think it is. But I wanna check, because it's one of those things... It's nice to actually check, you know, in case it is up here. So anything up here? Anything there? Nope. Oh, balls, of course. One of those things, whenever you can walk into a grass, you always encounter it. Of course, a Muna. So like I said, uh, you can actually encounter um, Mushiranas here uh, at any level, which is great. Um, now that we've actually got the National Deck, so. It's only on Friday, and it has it's got the move Hidden Power. Uh, no, it has the Hidden Ability um, te Telepathy, which... Um, no idea what it does, but, yep, it's needed, so, I'm happy, I'm happy. Okay, so let's just leave and try to get into the hole. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure the, um, where we need to go is down this little hatch over here, then. And that's going to take us into the next of the fi uh, five stages. So, I think what we're going to do is going to end the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Black and White, we're going to go and head into the underground part of the Dream Yard. And hope we can find some stuff. I shall see you guys then. Peace.